A pot of fresh borscht simmers on the stove. Mm, smells good. <laughs> the atmosphere in Carolina Ribka's apartment is a stark contrast to the decades-old memories that remain vivid in her mind. In 1939, at the start of the Second World War, she was a little girl in Poland when Russian soldiers put her family on a train to Siberia. Her mother died there. Eventually, her father, knowing he couldn't care for them, put Karolina and two of her siblings in an orphanage. Lots of children, all big room, everybody's lying on the floor there. And the kids, they gave us only one slice of bread. Life was bleak until an Indian Maharaja came to the rescue. Karolina is one of an estimated 1,000 Polish children provided refuge by Dag Vijay Sinji, a ruler in India's Gujarat state. They were treating us good. We had food all the time, three times a day. We've ne we never been starving there. Uh, and we had a Polish school there. And then we had dancing groups. We dance, I even dancing there also. <laughs> and then we danced for Maharaja one time. <laughs> The Maharaja greeted each group of children with the words, you are no longer orphans, I am your father, and made them citizens of the princely state of Navanagar. Jeru, jeru, Maharaja, no mita. Do you know that song? No? The Maharaja built dorms for the children, provided them with food, clothes, and medical care, and brought in Polish teachers for their education. He was a very unusual personality. His mindset would help to say that, look, here is a good cause, a worthy cause, something I should be doing. And in fact, he went ahead and did it. And they were there for a long time and they were looked after so beautifully. Dag Vijay Sinji never asked for any compensation for his grand gesture. That said, the Maharaja did have a wish for Poland's liberation. He once told a Polish general, when that happens, you can name a street after me. Unfortunately, the dream didn't come true during his lifetime. But with the eventual fall of communism, that changed. In Warsaw, a square and a park were named after the Maharaja. A monument was erected in his honor, and he was posthumously awarded Poland's highest order of merit. The Polish children lived in Navanagar until India's independence in 1947 when they were forced to leave. 17-year-old Karolina was sent to England. Not long after, she made her way to Canada and married in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. That, that's the only thing I have from India. Uh, I won that when I ran 60 meters and I won first gift from India. That's the only one. And you kept it? I kept it forever. <laughs> I cannot, not to, I can't get rid of it because that's my souvenir from India. <laughs> Over the years, Carolina's family has flourished with children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. All of it, she says, possible only because of the goodness of a stranger. If he was here, what would you say to him? I would give him a big hug because <laughs> he saved our lives. <laughs> yeah, he did because there, nobody else wanted us, eh? Yeah, he the one that took us in. Bell Puri, CBC News, Kelowna.